A devastating fire enters four Baltimore City firefighters leaving one trapped. What we are learning about what happened as a procession takes place on MLK Boulevard. Hello everyone, I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch and we want to welcome all of you who may be streaming this afternoon. Well, we have been following this breaking news all day long. Firefighters gathered at shock trauma downtown where three of their own were rushed after a row home fire and they were there fighting it. It partially collapsed. WJZ, we have team coverage. Jessica Albert has reaction from the community. But first, Avajoy Burnett is live at shock trauma where the firefighters were taken. Avajoy. Well, earlier today, we witnessed an extremely somber situation here at Shock Trauma. We witnessed about uh, more than 50 firefighters line up. Uh, they had a procession from Shock Trauma over to the medical examiner's office. But at this point, we have no official update from officials about the, the condition of those four firefighters who were injured earlier today. Baltimore City is waiting for more details on four firefighters who were injured while fighting a massive two alarm fire. This is what it looked like at Maryland Shock Trauma this afternoon as Baltimore City firefighters escorted a white van from the hospital to the medical examiner's office. As they walked the entire way, the streets fell silent. The tragedy started to unfold around 6 Monday morning. These are images viewers captured on the Citizen app as a vacant row home burned out of control on South Stricker Street. By the time crews got there, all three floors were on fire. And when firefighters went inside, a part of the building collapsed and four crew members were trapped. The frantic moments could be heard on radio transmissions. Has people made contact with were the members trapped yet, or are we still looking for them? You have contact with one. Crews rescued one of their own almost immediately, but three others were trapped. The chief tweeted that two firefighters were rescued within an hour, but by 9 a.m., around three hours after the fire started, a fourth firefighter was still trapped inside. A tragic start to the day could end with even more grief as the city waits for news on the conditions of the firefighters. Earlier today, uh, Mayor Brandon Scott came here to shock trauma along with other top fire officials here in the city. They went inside and they did not address the media. We can tell you that we are awaiting additional details sometime this afternoon on the conditions of those four firefighters. Live tonight at shock trauma, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.